Shabbat Shalom from Temple Concord. Above our entrance on the University Street side is this wonderful carving that comes from the book of Isaiah. My house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. I don't know if you've noticed it or not, but the next time you come in through the temple or you drive by on this side, take a look up there and you'll see it. Now, it's a wonderful piece that comes from Isaiah, but it actually has a connection to our Torah portion this Shabbat. This week we're learning the, the second half of the ten plagues, and just before the final plague, the Israelites are instructed to paint the lintels of their doorposts with paint, with the, with the blood of the animal, and then to have the sacrifice so they can, the, the angel of death will see the blood and pass over and they'll be able to uh, escape the last plague and then go on to freedom. But in the business of eating that lamb, that last sacrifice, there's a fascinating connection to that verse. Because we're instructed to share the sacrifice with everybody so that there are no leftovers left. Which seems a little strange, but the idea is that the whole community comes together. That we're all looking out for each other. And it is that same idea which is carved in stone in our synagogue, that ours is a building that is communal for everybody. And in our tradition, and particularly in our congregation, we believe that ours is community first, that we include everybody, that ours is a synagogue and a community that welcomes everybody without regard to any of the particulars of our lives. And that becomes a defining principle of who we are. Equality is at the heart of how we function as Jews. So this Shabbat we'll read about sharing the sacrifice, sharing that lamb. And then we've got to figure out a way to go live it. We've got to figure out a way to create a synagogue that really is open to all people. And to create a community that really does welcome everybody. And so that becomes our challenge week in and week out. So I hope you'll join us this Shabbat. Services are at 6 o'clock. Uh, we have two special things happening in the service. Our band will be playing. And we have a wonderful guest speaker, Sarah Young, who's a college student at Wellesley, will be speaking about her first book. She actually has two books out now. Uh, her first book is called Nice Jewish Boys, and it tells the story of two young men who are homosexual, who are coming to grips with who they are and their community and how they are accepted in their community or not. Um, Sarah is a brilliant young woman from here in Syracuse, and we're thrilled to have her speak. So she'll be speaking at services as part of the Goldenberg series. Uh, Saturday morning, of course, Torah study at 10, services at 11. Saturday evening, a great movie about Hedy Lamar called Bombshell uh, that tells her life story, which is fascinating. Sunday, we have religious school and all sorts of events. Saturday morning, we also have our kindergarten, first and second graders leading Shabbat morning services and our Tu Bishvat uh, Seder and celebration immediately following the service. So it's gonna be a busy weekend at the synagogue. Next week, all sorts of things going on. But in the meantime, time for us to ponder what it means to be a house of prayer for all people, to ponder what it means to have a sacrifice where everybody is included and everybody takes part and everybody is a part of all of the observance. This is who we strive to be and this is our goal and our Torah portion reminds us of the centrality of this piece of equality in all that we are and all that we attempt to do. I look forward to building that community with all of you. For now, Shabbat Shalom. Look forward to seeing you at the temple.